Hi right, guys, welcome to another episode of The Bike Review and today we're going to, uh, well, if it's going to be the third video I've done in quick succession um, so you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the same same t-shirt um, so yeah, so today we're going to uh, review what is it now? Wicked E-Liquids Root Beer now, if you like me I absolutely love Root Beer it's one of my all-time favourite drinks um, here in the UK it's a bit hard to come by, there is websites where you can buy the drink from um, and my local uh, local store in my uh, town centre sells A&W root beer and <laughs> I buy crates at a time, I absolutely love root beer and uh, most of the Americans that might watch this will probably uh, know what I mean when I talk about this But um, so anyway, now it's been a a few weeks now, I've still got the bottle but I'm going to review it anyway and I haven't got any juice left to put in any any of my tanks or my uh, RBAs or anything like that to be able to, uh, to vape it for you so I'm sorry about that but I'll try and, rec rec try and reminisce on the flavour um, but uh, as I say I love root beer and I know some people out there might not like root beer It's it's another one of them and quite uh, acquired taste. Um, but if you love root beer, then this this flavour is it's so close. And I'll get over the uh, the good and bad points of it uh, as the video goes along. But at the moment, we'll uh, have a quick smell, and it it smells absolutely perfectly like root beer. It's 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 dead on in the smell, and. Uh, it's so nice, I could literally, if I could, I'd drink out the bottle, it's just, I need to get some root beer, I'm getting withdrawal symptoms probably, and I've probably kept the bottle so I can smell it every so often, so I could uh, get the, the little hit line, but, anyway, it is a really nice smelling. Now, the problem with this juice is, when you vape it, it doesn't taste like it smells. Um, if you know your there's a, a, a certain supermarket, I won't name names, I'll stay away from that, but I won't name names, but there is a supermarket that sells, um, I can't remember the name of the root beer, I'll try and find it and probably post it in the description what root beer it is, but um, I can't remember what it is, but it's like a cheap version of root beer, and it, they sell it in a certain supermarket. Um, unfortunately, does it, it taste like the cheap root beer? Now, it is disappointing, um, but it is a root beer taste vape, so it is as close as possible to a root beer vape uh, flavour. So, um, it, when I brought it, I brought it from Wicked, excuse me, e liquids themselves. And uh, I was looking at the comments on there, and people were comparing it to A and W root beer. Now, I wouldn't compare it to A and W root beer in in taste. Smell, yes, I can. I, I, I honestly say it smells near enough exactly like A and W root beer. It doesn't smell like the cheap a, uh, cheap root beer, but it vapes tastes like the cheap stuff, and that's a a bit disappointing, really. But Really, it's a root beer one, and if you love root beer as much as I do, then you'll 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 get over the fact that it tastes like the, the cheap stuff. Um, it doesn't say on the bottle what the ratio is. It might tell you online, so go to Wicked E Liquids, search for the root beer one, have a look on there. It might tell you on there. I I might put it in the description once I've done this video and uploaded it to YouTube. Uh, we'll see see how lazy I am, um, <laughs> but. It is, I think the lowest strength to do is 8 megagrams of nicotine, which is not, not bad, it's only what, 0 0.2, 2, 2 milligrams more than what I'm used to, like a 5 or a 6. Um, but, as I say, if you're, if you're absolutely in love with root beer, then you're going to be, you're going to absolutely love this e-liquid. Um, when I brought it, I brought, <laughs> I seen it. And I seen root beer, and I seen what people were commenting on it, and I thought, 
straight away. I'm buying the biggest bottle they do. Now, um, price, I think the biggest bottle they did was £8, and that's for a 30ml bottle, which is good value for money. Um, I don't, as I say, I don't know what the PG-VG ratio is, and I've got a tiny bit in there, so I might try and squeeze that little bit out and vape it. Just when, I, when I'm hard and I, I'm gagging for a root beer or something. But um, I will buy some more and I'll probably do an updated review on it once I get some more in. But I will go out and buy another 30 more bottle. I'd recommend it to people that like root beer. I wouldn't recommend it to people that didn't, don't like root beer. Um, if you've never had root beer, then go online. I know there's a certain website online. As I say, I won't name it, but if you just search for American drinks, food on Google, it will come up with a UK website that supplies, uh, I mean, a hefty amount of American stuff in the UK. And they have about five or six root beer, um, different root beers on there for sale. So uh, go on there, buy yourself a can. I think the, it is pretty cheap. I think I don't think the postage is that cheap, so it's up to you. I'd I'd recommend buying a can, or if somewhere local to you sells it, then buy yourself a can, try it. If you if you really enjoy it, then I'd recommend getting the, the liquid. I wouldn't go out and tell you now to go and buy the e liquid before you have had a drink of it. I mean, I know it's only eight pound for 30, thirty mils, and I, I can't tell you what the uh, the price is for ten mil, but I think it's going to be more than what a can of uh, root beer is going to cost. I know my local store sells it at a pound a can. Um, and I know he's not making a lot of money off that. So a pound compared to whatever you're going to pay for the uh, 10 mil and then postage on top of that, it's just, it'd be cheaper to just buy a can and try, try the can first, see if you enjoy it. Or just go to your local... Uh, supermarket I nearly said the name then but go to your one of your local supermarkets that does find does stock it um, and stock the cheap stuff try the cheap stuff I know the American stuff isn't going to taste exactly like the cheap stuff that you can get in the UK um, but it's going to be close, close enough so try that I, I can't remember the name of the uh, the cheap root beer at the moment but I might right, put the name in the description of the cheap stuff and then you can go on to the various supermarkets and it's going to be one of the main ones I'll, I'll put that out there at the moment it's one of the main three <laughs> um, and go to the, your local supermarket buy uh, I think they only do them in six pack cans buy, buy them try it I mean they're, they're only cheap anyway so you ain't going to lose a lot of money really you're going to lose a meal off it so um, out of ten I'd give it 7.5 out of 10 and then the only reason I do that is the majority of the, uh, the the score goes on the smell and the price the price is unbeatable the smell is absolutely divine it's absolutely gorgeous smelling <coughs> smells excuse me smells exactly like root beer um, taste is what lets it down and it lets it down in a not a big way but a, a, a does a, a, a significant um, it is a significant downfall on this e-liquid um, <clears throat> I will buy myself another bottle and as I say I'll probably do a, an update review on, on vaping it and uh, we'll see what vapor we get off it um, but that's all I can say I'm sorry I haven't got any to vape but check, check back in a couple of weeks and I hopefully I'll have a Another lot. I know um, there's a couple of other um, e-liquid producers out there that are making their own root beer ones. I haven't tried them. I've only tried this one. I'll try and get a, a few of them because I, I love root beer. Um, and then I'll try them, and then we'll. I'll, I'll try and get as many as I can, um, and then I'll put them all. Th I'll, I won't put them all together in one tank, but I'll get some tanks, um, and then I'll, I'll vape them one by one, and then we'll we'll see which one. I, I think personally is the better one out of the lot so it's pretty much a head to head on root beer ones uh, I could do that with quite a lot of flavours like the vanilla custard there's quite a lot of them out there but I'll leave that for another review so 
hopefully check out um, Wicked E Liquid. Um, check out their other ones, not just the root beer. I mean, they do. It is good value for money on that website, and um, highly recommend you check it out if you like root beer. Get yourself some of this root beer, it, Wicked E Liquid. Um, other than that, then uh, check back, and I hopefully I'll have some more, and I'll try and get some more of the other ones, and we'll do a, a nice head to head of the different ones. But for now, I'm sorry I ain't got a vape. Um, I'll let you vape for me. So take a chug, and I'll uh, I will see you on the next video, which ho which I'm probably do straight after this one again, and I'll probably be four or five in a row, just to because I'm bored <laughs> and I'm lonely. Um, so vape on, like, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments if you tried this. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. If not, get some and then let me know what you think. If um, you know of any other root beer ones out there, then get in touch with me because I, I want to find them. And we'll uh, hopefully do a head to head of all the different ones. And we'll uh, try and get the best one we can. And then we'll recommend the best root beer one out there. Uh, as I say, you probably guessed by now that I, I absolutely love root beer. So. I'll probably get myself uh, an A&W root beer and then I'll get some of the e-liquids and then I'll have a little drink and then we'll uh, compare and do a head-to-head. -head. So, happy vaping, like, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see you maybe in a second for the fourth video. See you later lads, kids, people, whatever you like to be called.